the morning. Top of the morning to you. I was just uh, doing a little radio, well, I guess radio shopping. I don't need another radio. I maybe want another radio, but I don't need it. Anyway, um, it just happened to, this happened to catch my eye. This is a national NC-140. This is, uh, mm, these are okay little radios. Uh, there's actually a speaker that goes with this, and I don't see this in the seller's advert here in his pictures, or her pictures. Anyway, uh, there's actually quite a few pictures here. There's a, there's a crap load of pictures. Somebody did a pretty good job. And it seems reasonably clean. And of course, uh, they kind of won a premium price and uh, I believe the uh, description said it was, you know, only driven by a little old lady on Sundays and uh, it works perfectly. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it and on and on and on. Yeah, that's fine. We just uh, I just take that stuff with a you know grain of salt. I'm just kind of looking at the knobs here. Everything seems to be there. Doesn't seem to be scratched up or discolored horribly. Uh, plastic doesn't seem to be dinged up. Just kind of looking her over, kicking a few tires. There actually is a little bale that tips this thing. I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of a weird triangle shape. It's there. There we go. This this shows it better. It leans the thing back. It's a little dirty, but not, you know nothing to write home about. So we're just looking. You know, it's kind enough to take a picture of the line cord. That's pretty nice. The bottom. The bottom is always a did giveaway on old radios. Um, that one's. Not bad shape. The feet are a little uh, missing. No big deal. Nothing to write home about. And, oh, some good pictures of the back. Uh, pictures of the inside of the chassis. That's kind of a bonus. Usually people don't do that stuff. Seems in pretty good shape. It's pretty clean. There's not. There are little furry four-footed friends, or maybe more-footed friends, you know, living there. What else we got? The top look, deck looks pretty good. Nothing's been up right off the bat. You know, not too bad. We're doing pretty good. And, uh, uh oh, looky what I found. So, what that is, uh, well, I don't think I really need to explain that very much, but, uh, <laughs> so much for the perfect working condition. That is the rectifier tube going into meltdown is what that is. Uh, that shouldn't be turning red. <laughs> so somebody's probably got a, a maybe a cap going bad is more than likely what's going on. Is there anything else in here that looks... Yep, yep, a little problem there. So if, if that works, it's working poorly. So if you're under the guise of you're going to get this home and not do any work to it, I think you better think again. Like I said, these are okay little radio. They're about one stage above the kind of converted All-American 5 bottom feeders. Um, and I'll just leave the price at a mystery there. And about 20 bucks shipping, which isn't bad. So I don't know. I think I'm going to keep, keep on kicking a few tires there. Although it is pretty clean, it's it's not in bad shape. I don't know. I think we maybe could do a little bit better, or we could do worse for a lot less money and just uh, fix it up. So I just thought I'd show you that real quickie today. So it pays to look at the pictures. You know, you see something like you know this, and you know. Which is it's not a bad looking radio right off the bat, but you might want to look a little bit. Sometimes it pays to look at all the pictures a couple times and maybe wait 10 minutes. It's one of the bad things about this kind of stuff, especially when you're kind of, how do I want to put it, under the gun to uh, purchase an item, you know. And I'll be the first to admit that I've done that before. You know, you 
pull the trigger on something and then immediately have buyer's remorse after you look at it a little bit more. Uh, you know, actually the national stuff, if you're going to buy a national, look real hard at the knobs. They tend to get this white crud built up on them. It, it's something to do with the plastic and it seems to be if the thing is kind of poorly stored or stored someplace damp or stored someplace where the temperature is varying. That's one of the reasons I look at the bottoms. Um, if you, you know, Normally people just throw these things in a corner and if they've been sitting then the corrosion starts to dig in here. You know, like I said he's missing a foot there but overall you know it's a, not a bad radio it's just it's not um, in perfect working order now to be fair that may be the 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 buyer or the seller may have limited knowledge you know so I don't know that's where if you're uh, you know if you're buying a radio in person which is you know kind of a tough to go nowadays um, you can ask a few questions and make a few faces and hum and haw and walk away you know that's I guess the flea market or Craigslist or you know whatever the local advert is that you got. There you go. Anyway, have a good day. Matter of fact, have a groovy day. Take it easy.